get the feeling Max is trying to convert you? Wait. I don't think I've ever listened close enough to tell. I was in the mess the other night, kicking my boots up on the table. Just opened up my latest issue of Tales from Beyond, right? Felix, I didn't know you read. Hold on, it gets better. <laughs> Max was there reading one of his dusty old scriptures, and he just gives me this look, like I'm a stray cane had wandered into his church. And he says, and he says, Son, do you know what you're doing with your life? Pulling that giant toss ball stick out of your ass? <laughs> Good one, Ellie. <laughs> I gotta use that line. Please don't. Just, really, just, just, she could pull that off. You can't. Thank you very much. Okay, so Nyoka's friends, Rebecca and Anush, were hired to clear out an infestation for an expansion to Edgewater. But Trask, who we're looking for for Felix, is just in hiding. I'm kind of hoping Felix has some coordinates so that we don't end up... Oh dear, just wandering around blindly. That's a little... Okay, no, we do. We've got coordinates. Right, and he's up towards the botanical lab. That's useful. Star-crossed troopers. Oh. Abandoned spacious choice settlement. Near to the geothermal plant. We've been there. And yes, it was in fact abandoned. Right. Okay, that should be fairly straightforward. I still have absolutely no idea what's in there. No idea whatsoever. And my curiosity is just a teeny tiny bit peaked. Oh, let's call in on Adelaide and just check, see if anything's changed. I'm going to assume not a lot has. Deserters stood in the same place. Is this just, just the, the, like, the local hangout spot hey, for you two? I got some questions I've been meaning to ask you about being a hunter and all. Felix, are you reading off your hand again? Yep. So, uh, first question. Before you kill your <laughs> prey, do you ever say any snappy one-liners? Snappy one-liners? Oh, God. Give me an example. Like, nothing personal, or maybe... You messed with the wrong hunter. Animals can't understand language, Felix. Besides, it's always personal. I don't kill them, they'll kill me. It ain't exactly a wholesome business arrangement we've got going on. It's a bit of a lie. What, what, what about I am Storm or Shred, you say? I'm not saying they're particularly funny one-liners, but you're always saying them. You, you're always screaming something. That and... Ah! Again, not a witty one-liner, but... You know. I suppose you could call that primal rage, but the other things, you're talking to your kills. Mocking them as they die. Adelaide. May you find peace in the eternal. Yeah, I'd rather not. So, okay. I, I was just checking in to see that you were okay. Yes, I was. I'm pretty sure I didn't leave any locked containers behind in this area. Really? These guys are back. Well. One down. This... Really shouldn't be much of a problem. Was there anyone else? T Again, no score one for Felix. Not score one for Felix. You just stood there and watched me shoot them from long range. I mean, these guys, level three, yeah, I mean, they're probably not going to have anything worth taking, but you know what? We're going to take it anyway. And we're probably going to end up killing a lot more on the way, right? Okay. 
Are some of these... I heard... Whoa! And you? Oh god, I... What did I get? I got stunned by something. I got stunned by something. That was a little weird. I hear you're into Graham's philosophist hogwash, Felix. Yeah, if by philosophist hogwash you mean the virtues of enlightened anarchy. Organization separates us from the animals. You ever seen a rap lay plumbing? You see sprats running around building roads? Maybe the folks we have at the top ain't exactly leadership material. But if we tore the whole thing down, we'd be kings and queens of a wasteland. Uh, correction? Kings and queens of an awesome wasteland. I'll take toilets over freedom any day of the week. Yes, this is a, uh, yeah, I mean... Freedom without toilets. Yeah, I mean, she's got a point, you know. I like freedom a lot. I like indoor plumbing a lot too. It's it's a, it's a tricky question, right? No, that's definitely looted. I'm not seeing any way up there. We may have to go all the way around by the looks of things. And right. Yeah, I think that right, that looks like it's a tree stump. Something there. Yes, there's something there. And oh my god. Oh wait. Best there ever was. What? Okay, never mind. Don't down on him. Don't rain on his parade. And also, don't waste too much time looking for loot here. These guys really only have a few small items. Low level, probably not going to make much money. What do we think? Is that a gap? Wait. That was a little ominous. That's just a random ship flying overhead to land on. Right, that's, that's nothing to do with. Okay, primal. Bear mother. Am I heading in the right direction? That. Okay. There's a lot of them. I know. I know we're. Oh well, there are rather a lot of them. Okay. Oh. And. Oh god. Are they all... Are they all dead already? To shreds, you say? You see what I'm saying? To shreds, you say? That... Aha! Uh, I found the way through. Primal hide. I mean, if that's not a catchphrase, a witty one-liner, or at least an attempt at one, I don't know what is. You know what? The loot on these is not really that important. All right. Ooh. I mean, yeah. earrings. I mean, it's, it's a few bits. It's not going to harm us to pick the stuff up, is it? No, it's not. Okay. I suppose this is a pretty good hiding spot. You're not going to find many people wandering around exploring. 
outlaws. But then Felix's friend was an outlaw as well. They're wearing the same gimp sort of. She's not, but he is. Okay. North Gulch discovered. Let's go and say hi. Is this... Is this your idea of a camp? Because I've got to tell you, this is not much of a camp. No, it's not. Oh! Rufus Trask! Hello! We've come a long way to speak to you. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Oh, uh, that's right. He said... Harlow said you betrayed him. What makes you think I work for Harlow? Your wife told me what... It, mm, let's not drop his wife in it. Yeah, Harlow said you betrayed him. Yeah, of course he did. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. Okay, I'm... I'm still, like, you know... Not even 50-50 on this. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you to tell me why, why he's lying to me. Harlow wants your ring as proof of your death. That's all I'm after. Why did you betray Harlow? How do I know that I can trust you? Uh, I haven't shot you yet. Neither of us trust Harlow. That's a start. What's the worst thing that, that could happen? Harlow sends a stranger with a gun after you. If I wanted to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. We wouldn't. I would have shot you from back up there. Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You can't be serious. I've known the guy for years. Yeah, that's about how I reacted when I found out. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another board asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Right. Hold on, you've got some explaining to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some more information. Say your piece. You're asking me to take your word for it. Show me some evidence. Yeah. Do. do oh, out of curiosity, why would the board buy off Harlow? Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy, and that includes loyalty. Harlow was a charismatic bastard, and he was ruthless. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Okay, and what exactly was he doing for the board? Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself, gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. So he's basically selling people to the board. You're asking me to take your word for it. Show me some evidence. Do you have any? Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Temperament. Yes, there is. You're looking at him. If you've got proof, let's see it. You should have known those pa shown the papers to the crew. Yeah, no. Temperament. You're looking at him. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Okay, so back where we came from, in a vent. Got it. Take it, you've made up your mind. I'm not gonna kill you, Trask, but I am gonna ask for your ring. Yeah! 
can I sort of say, like, 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 I haven't made my mind up yet. I've pretty much made my mind up. I'm definitely not going to kill him, at least not now. Unless he's lying to me. But I'm going to need a lot more evidence of that, aren't I? And then I'm going to want to talk to Felix. So definitely not going to kill you, but I do need your ring. You going to tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. <sighs> Here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Okay. Yeah, okay. Felix, come over here. Just a little, 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 little further away from them. A little further away. Just a further, just thank you. Okay. Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. I'm not sure what to think right now. You told me to be suspicious, but I never imagined Clyde would stoop to informing for the establishment. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. It's possible, but, you know, Trask said he had evidence. And we did read the, um, we did read uh, some information that suggests something is going on. Although I, I think that was information Harlow wrote down. I can't imagine Clyde working for the board. But we owe it to ourselves to find out. Trask said he stashed the evidence in a vent back at the base. We should go take a look. Yeah. Totally agree. But before we do that, we... It's, it's the smug look on her face when she does that that really gets to me. Okay, so we just follow this road, I believe. And unless there are more marauders or auto mechanicals, I think we just run through the geothermal plant and straight out the other side. Yeah, I think I think I think there was a gate on both sides, are they? Oh there they are. Suddenly couldn't hear footsteps. All right. I've got a few more questions for you. They're real simple. Don't think about them too much. All right. You ever lured out your prey by mimicking the cry of a mantisaur? No, monarch prey ain't that smart. You can lure them to you by firing blindly into the air. Is it true that raptodons can't see you if you stand perfectly still? Yes. Next time we run into one, I want to see you practicing. <laughs> you ever fired off two <laughs> guns at the same time? Once. Backflipped while doing it, too. That sprat never saw it coming. The worrying thing is, I'm not sure he understands she was mocking him. Did we not? Okay. Did I not? Can't keep us out. Open. This? Okay. I missed, I missed a, um. All right, for some odd reason, I missed this. I do not know why. Um, let's, what the, what is that? What is that? I'm sure reading the note would be a better way of finding out than shouting at it, but still, that actually looks like the sort of thing that might explode. And you... Were you shot? You kind of look like you were shot. All right. Scorch Journal. After sneaking parts out of the industrial sector for a couple of days, I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine. However, upon closer look, Closer inspection, I'm not entirely sure all of these components will fit together properly. It's not like the board would build the mechanicals with custom tooled parts, right? Everything would have to be modular for all these mechanicals to run efficiently. I'll tool around with things for a bit and see what I can put together. After a few hours of experimentation, things are starting to come together, but I still don't have it down to an exact science. For instance, there's something wrong with the memory processing core that I can't seem to sort out. When I tried to install it, the unit made a loud buzzing sound and refused to respond to any feedback. I removed it, 
whacked it with a wrench a few times and that seemed to stop the buzzing. Things seemed like they were working for a few seconds after I'd installed it. Again, but now there's a sharp clicking noise every few seconds and the damn thing's right stabiliser won't stop twitching. I'll try removing the processing core again and give it a few more good whacks. That'll learn it. Yeah, it's a combat drone. You tried to learn a combat drone by hitting it. I think the mystery of what happened here is solved. However, the mystery of what the hell that is? Not so much. Why is the combat drone now? Oh, maybe it just shot him and then fell to pieces? That's... Did you and Ellie drink all my Spectrum Red? Oh, was that yours? I thought it was their new Felix line. Whoops. I know it. Nyoka, damn it, I was saving that. Okay, you know what? I'm beginning to feel like you guys are picking on him a little too much. I mean, I get it. I do get it. Oh. Apparently, I didn't... I didn't get it when I was last here. I do get it. There, There is... There is... A side of me enjoys listening to some of the escapades you guys have been getting up to. But I, I, I think perhaps I'm going to have to sort of step in and uh, put my foot down. No more picking on Felix, at least for a few days, yeah? We just, we just make that a sort of small rule kind of thing. Now... I don't expect to find any auto mechanicals. But just in case. No, no, I think we're I think we're good. Right. Primals. Which I th Yes, it I could have sworn I saw something. It was up here. Okay, we've got a canid. And apparently we've got marauders. Your friends are not marauders, are they? They're not... Okay. Anders can be a creep, but he'll fit in fine. Don't worry. Okay, you say he's a creep. What's up? Could he be a marauder? Uh, you... Can I ask you something? Sure. Uh, what made you choose the hunter life? Has Monarch always been... Why can I never ask you these things when we're on the ship? Why can I not ask you these things on the ship? What made you choose the hunter life? I didn't. I was born into security detail. And when the corporations abandoned this place, I stayed. When this place... Okay, you know we're not on Monarch. Right? What do you mean, born into security detail? I mean, I wasn't sent off to school like I should have been. I was born here, and my parents kept me. Raised under the Monarch sky. Again? Breathing sulfur since I knew how to smell it. This place is all I know. You want to know something? Just ask. I want to know how you've not realized we're on a completely different planet. Has Monarch always been your home? I don't have a single spot I call home. Wherever I can sit in peace with a bottle is good enough for me. But, yes, I've always been on Monarch. No. Wait. Did you have family here? There? Did you have family there? In a sense. My parents took off when the corporations did. I took to companionship with a few friends here for a time, but those days are long past. You don't want to go and find your parents? No, we weren't close. And before you ask, there ain't a story there. We just never saw eye to eye on the corporations. Drifted apart over time. It's fine. Uh, okay. 
Why haven't you left? She has left. What? Just, this is... Okay, why hadn't you left before I turned up? Uh, it ain't exactly easy to hitch a ride off planet, Captain. And besides, I hear Terra 2's all corporate. The way folks talk about the board and their ilk, I think I prefer the beasts. Oh, okay. Good. But nothing... No, right, okay, you, you don't want to... If I shoot these marauders, is it going to upset your friends? I'd wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! Okay. Okay, were you screaming like that? Didn't seem to annoy them? Although I found Marauders a little weird sometimes. It's like... Hello? I have a horrible feeling I'm going to shoot you all, but I would, um... Just like to say, if your friends of Annis and Rebecca, we're actually here to talk to you. Are you taking a... You're just sitting, right? Please tell me you just... You're just sitting... Okay, look. What do you mean? I smell blood! Big mistake. Okay. Right, okay, well, we didn't start it, so. Oh. Awesome. We've. And. Oh, he's armored, mind you. Score one for Felix. Okay, why did they just ignore us while we were stood there? And you're screaming and shouting for your friends. And where exactly are your friends? Uh. Okay, we've got an open door there. Space is choice. Please tell me that's not your friends. Shit. What oh, is a vending machine here? We can sell some stuff. That's. That's nice. Okay. Neoka, if you could give me a clue as to what we should be looking for, that would be good. Um. That. Does that look. That looks neither locked nor open, but... Hey, take a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca? Anders? You in there? Okay. Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Okay. Right. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? Oh hell. I'm sorry, Nyoka. Um. Annas Charon's medallion. Okay, did they shoot each other? Rusty journal. Its display is faded and the buttons are almost entirely rusted through, but you can still make out bits and pieces of what look like Rebecca's final entries. Law helped me, but Anderson was right. We never should have taken this contract. I thought Monarch was bad, but this is, this is unbearable. Everyone here is blind or adult or I don't know what. The towns won't let us walk in without an employment contract. I can't even find someone to let me send a message for all the capable folk here. We... We're stuck. Back home, we had to fight for every meal because there were no meals that you didn't make yourself. Here, there's plenty, but no one's allowed to give you one. We've been stealing bits and pieces of life from wherever we can. Anderson is about ready to sign up. Offer his life in service to Space's Choice just so we, he can take a shower. Clara, I hope to the architect this never reaches you, but on the off chance it does, I want to say I'm sorry. Anderson and I messed up. We didn't take the contract for the bits. We didn't take it because Primal sounded cool. We took it because we wanted out. Monarchs are living hell. 
We were sick of getting sick, of boiled wrapped it on and stinking like sulfur no matter how hard you scrub, of fighting. Day in and day out, we're exhausted. We thought we could use the contract money to find a place here, settle down. But this place ain't any better. It's just different. We're starving all the same. We never should have left. I just thought maybe we could do better. I miss you, kid. Marauders at the door. Anderson's bled out. I'm on my way. I won't let them get me. Not alive, anyway. I've seen what those monsters do. I don't... They were... That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses! Ugh. Hard to leave your medallions to rot with you, but... Clara would want to be buried with her sister. I wouldn't be too hard on them. I really wouldn't. It just sounds like they were tired. It happens. So he got hit by the, the marauders and died and she just ended it. Okay, that does suck. All right, nothing else dangerous, right. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. <sighs> She'd still want to know just the same as you did. I'd have kept it from her, the news would only hurt her. Now, you'd want to know the truth, I'd want to know the truth. I have to assume she'd probably want to know the truth. And she'd probably forgive them. Probably. I say that, didn't really know her, but, you know. That message... Dear, oh dear. She'd want to know, just the same as you did. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. Might do it? I didn't think there was anything about the wilderness you didn't know. Yeah, well, yeah. Pfft, I'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. Okay, so you want to go to Scylla as well. All right. Yeah, fair enough. I, are you going to be upset if I loot your friend's stuff? I mean, they don't need it anymore, right? survival and all that. I mean, they definitely understand, you know, a thing. I mean, I don't know them, but judging by that last message, they understand the need for survival. You know, I have to say, Emerald Vale is still the most depressing place I've been to since, uh, coming out of hibernation. And that includes the station with the serial killer. Every time I'm here, every moment I'm here, I'm just ever so slightly horrified. Just, just a little bit. Not hugely angry, not, you know, terrified, just a little sick to my stomach. Okay. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Uh. Dead center. Next round's on you. Shh, the captain's coming. Put your gun away, act casual. Oh, uh, um, yes, this'll about do. That's a mighty clean weapon. Yep, ain't no call for a closer inspection by anybody. 
so, Harlow was rottener than weak old Borst. Big surprise. You guys absolutely suck at subterfuge. I tell you what, we should organize a poker night. Actually, I want to talk to you. We should organize a poker night, because I'd clean up with you guys. Hey, Cap. But just, why can't I talk to you about, like, stuff that's, you know, more personal here? What? Oh, probably because you're an outdoorsy sort of person. Is that what it is? Is it because you're an outdoorsy person? It's probably because she's an outdoorsy sort of person. Probably. Something to do with that only opens up when she's out in the wilderness or some such thing. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. And... Right. Yeah, we, we, we've got several things to do for these guys on Scylla. We're supposed to be going to see Phineas. I want to sort my crew out. Need to be able to rely on the crew, and the crew need to rely on me. So we're going to go to Scylla, and we're actually... You know what? We're going to go to Harlow's base first. I do want to find out. Are you not going to tell us where we've arrived? No? Okay. I mean, I know it was information that was a little superfluous to requirements and everything, and I was often tempted to mock you for telling me where we'd arrived, even though I'd watched us arrive there, but it was slightly comforting when you did give me that information. So I'm a, I'm a tad, you know, well, disappointed. Who do I want to take with me? Ellie is skeptical. Max is, he's also, he's pragmatic. He's pragmatic and, oh, but he hates the whole freedom fighter thing, doesn't he? She's sort of, she might actually have a, yeah, no, you know what? Let's go with Ellie. Let's go with Ellie. Parvati too trusting, maybe? Maybe. I sort of feel like I want to take Max, but Max is going to hate this guy on principle, I think. Ellie's just going to be skeptical. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with Ellie. So, Harlow was rottener than we called Borst. Big surprise. Maybe that's too skeptical. I just, you know... I mean, I'm pretty sure he is. Right, we're looking for a vent. And to be honest, I also want to see if we can see any other terminals. And it was it was a vent at the back of the house. Is this the house? Okay. Let's just look around for... Oh, it's a broken terminal or any... Any sort of signs that, uh, that was a toilet, I believe. Okay. Right, logs. Acquisition logs. This wasn't the one, was it? Memo. Crew, I'm beginning to wonder about our patron. When we opened up our scanners and sniffed the system for our latest wildcat, we picked up a signal from a corporate freighter nearby. It was hauling ten times more cargo than our target. No sooner did we scan it than a message came through ordering us to go after the wildcat instead. Something doesn't add up. Until I get answers, stay skeptical. This is Harlow's memo. That makes it see more like he's being used by the board rather than a willing tool. Yeah? Let's not talk to him yet. Right. Okay. I'm not seeing any other terminals. Okay, he's not noticed us. Let's go and look for a vent. 
I don't quite know what the vents would look like. Is it, is it a vent in the ceiling? Is it a vent in the wall? Would I know a vent if it jumped out and smashed me in the face? That, that looks like a vent. Said the back though, right? C could that be a vent? Not a vent. Not a vent. Could it be like get on top of the roof? I'm just gonna check. No, that's I thought I heard I thought I heard vent sounds. That is an auto mechanical. Uh huh. A little more. Well, that's trash. Okay. Do, 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 do you think he gave us some idea of where the vent might be? He probably did. Dead ahead. Okay. Oh. Can I? No, is the answer. He hid it in a vent. Where exactly? Dead ahead. Could it be on? The, could it be on the inside? Or am I? Okay, we've got Are those vents. They look like vents. Okay. Ah. Another little place. Am I seeing... Oh. Okay, no. No, this is... All right. I am definitely missing. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've checked every single one of those things now. Well, apart from the ones on the ceiling, that is not a vent. This is not a vent. I checked those already. Okay. It's not going to be pipes like that, is it? Vents? Yeah, they're usually pretty big things. That's a vent. That. Okay, I suppose that. That looks more like a bloody post box than a... Well, I suppose technically it is, but... Okay, these receipts detail payments made to C. Harlow on behalf of the board for freelancing services. Included are the names of several freighters targeted by Harlow's crew, their manifests, and the sum value of all cargo delivered to board authorities. So... Okay, dude. We need to have a word with Clyde. Yeah, what 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 did you, you what do you think? Looks like Trask was telling the truth. It's all there. Receipts for services rendered, payments, records, ship manifests. Clyde was a pirate for hire, and the board was paying him off. In typical board fashion, they left a trail of receipts behind. Ain't that just ironic? Uh, I don't like being lied to. I you can't blame me for trying to make a living. Strictly speaking, no irony is the opposite of what you ex... I yeah, strictly speaking, no. Irony is the opposite of what you expect. Yeah, pretty much. That ain't the point, boss. I feel like Clyde's been taking us for a ride. I don't want to believe it, but I need to know. Clyde owes me, owes us, some answers. Something about this don't add up. And I mean to find out why. Okay, is this going to... Is this gonna get ugly? Just make sure I'm okay. Oh, 
know. Hmm. What's the word? Uh, the word is lie. Show him Trask's ring. It's done. Trask is dead. Trask had a lot to say about you, Harlow. Yes. <laughs> Not surprised. Trask was a dead man trying to negotiate with his own executioner. He'd say anything to preserve his life. Right. Trask told me you've been working for the board. I didn't believe a word he said. Well, Trask told me you've been working for the board. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? You are, in fact, correct. Um, you've been bought off. I've got the receipts. Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. Yeah, I get... Wait. Okay, when we met, you told me Trask was an informant for the board. You were lying. You were. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. Uh... Trask was right, you deserve to die. Okay, come on, Harlow. Why would Trask rat you out to your own employers? How should I know? But what the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. What? I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. What? Okay, we... May have. What was that? Nothing. Right, we're doing that. this. Is there anyone else coming? I don't hear anyone. Right. Okay, that did not... Well, I was going to say go as planned. It, it went as... Expected. Right, it doesn't look like... Yeah, it looks like we're fighting our way out of here, I'm afraid. I don't... Yeah. I'm guessing there is no way out of here. Although, to be honest... I'm not even sure I want to leave his people behind because, of course, they're probably going to want us dead. And... Okay. Oh! You know what, guys? I have to say, you... Don't... Is that the last of them? Are you... There might be some outside. Okay. Right. Let's just... Check what... Where... Where... Where is he? Oh. Yeah. Harlow. Leather gear, business casual. No document saying, yes, I did it. I definitely was. A traitor for the board. I mean, he sort of admitted it, right? He did sort of admit it. This is... This is definitely not how I imagined it would end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. You're just going to have to come to terms with that. You never really know what's going on inside someone's skull. Don't look at me, Felix. I don't think... I just... That's not right. You never know what's going on. Inside somebody's skull. No, you don't. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me. The lesson is to not look up to anyone. I can understand why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Money changes people. The board probably offered him a lot of money. Yeah. 
Yeah, still, it's not like money's that hard to come by. I can understand why you're upset. You feel like he betrayed you. Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. Get drunk? Cry me a river. No, no, get drunk. For a start. Yeah, that's a good, that is a good start. Get drunk. No kidding. I'm glad you keep the kitchen stocked. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. But you know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. So you're gonna be okay. Really? Just really? Felix gained the self-governed perk. <sighs> All right. Ooh. Do you know what else helps recovering from a betrayal other than getting drunk? Looting. <laughs> 